Hello friends and welcome to my last setup in this bullet journal. Right you are. The next video will therefore be my new bullet journal setup for the second half of the year. So don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss that. But let's do this one first, shall we? My name is Miri and in this video we will set up the pages for June. It is my birth month and I love butterflies. so. I chose them for this month's theme. If you're here to plan along with me, don't forget to grab your favorite stationaries. And if you're here for some inspiration or just to watch some relaxing art, lean back, relax and enjoy this video. You've seen right, we're leaving the first page blank for now and start on the next. As you can see, I already sketched out a big butterfly beforehand because it took some time as it was the first one and to get the wings as symmetrical as possible. For that I outlined a trapeze as that is the main form of the butterfly. With this done it was easier to draw in the wings. I wanted the left side of the butterfly to look like an abstract watercolor painting and the right side to be vibrant and to have the typical pattern. I know the bullet journal doesn't have watercolor paper, so it will not look super duper perfect, but that's okay for me. If you want that though, you could color that half of a piece of watercolor paper and glue it in afterwards. First I needed a nice vibrant blue for the right side, so I tried out some mixes. But all the mixes turned out too dim or muted, which I would normally love, but unfortunately not for this. After trying to mix the right hue for about 20 minutes, I decided to use azure blue straight from the pen. Why make it simple when you can make it complicated, right? Oh well. <laughs> I colored the wings with a light hue of azure and went lighter towards the ends. For the left side I played with the colors I had left on my mixing palette. I used some hues of a violet mixture and a bit of turquoise. I tried to smudge the outer lines of the wings to get a bit of that watercolor look.
the middle part of the butterfly I colored in with a really dark purple. After I was satisfied with the look of her, I cut around the wings. Then I thought about what to do with the pages behind. I wanted a black background for the left side and thought over if it would look good on the right side as well. But I decided against that. This month's quote went behind the left wing. I chose to write, never fear the change. As a butterfly goes through a massive change from a not so good looking caterpillar to a beautiful flying butterfly, it is the perfect reminder that change is good. Change can literally be life changing. Change can turn your life into something beautiful. So don't be scared of it. I wrote the quote with these beautiful metallic acrylic brush pens that I found on Amazon. But if I could redecide the color of the pens, I would go for violet and blue instead of this golden one. For some little decoration, I finally could take out the stems I've got from Notebook Therapy and use this cute little butterfly one. For the stamp color, I used the metallic pen and some white stamp pad. Then I tried out a black background for the right side again, <laughs> but found it too heavy and dark for June. As the two different pages are resembling now a change from dark to light, I found that fitting as well for this theme. 
I wrote June in a cursive font using my Tombow Furinosuke. The little colander is hidden behind the right wing. And that's it for this month's cover page. Let's move on to the colander page. First, some decorations again. With my STA pigment liner in the size 005, I outlined this flower and butterfly sketch, lifting my hand from time to time to create a more delicate looking picture. I colored the butterflies and flowers with the Pit Artist pens in pale pink, ivory and ice blue, as well as an online curly brush in pale pink. For the calendar itself, I used the Tombow brush pen N89, as well as for the notes lines at the bottom. The numbers on the calendar I wrote with the Sakura Micron light gray in the size 05. If you like my video so far, I would be happy over a thumbs up and a subscription of my little channel here on YouTube.
The next pages are for my habit tracker and content planner. Again, I've drawn a flower and butterfly painting. I used the pigment liner 005 for the outlining and shading, the ice blue for the butterfly and the pale pink for the flowers. I wrote the titles in a cursive font with pencil first and then erased most of the graphite. I went over that with the, with the Ice Blue Pit Artist pen and darkened the bottom part of the letters. Next, I lined the headlines of the trackers with a blue pen as well. But I think it would have been better looking if I used the Tombow N89 instead. But as I'm already behind my schedule, I left it as it is for now. This month I am tracking sport, go for a walk and plans. I use the same pens for the content page. My top box will be to check off the videos I'm currently filming. The second is for Instagram and at the bottom you'll find the shakiest lines in the whole wide world. Oh dear. <laughs> Let's move on to the next page which will be my reflection page of the first half of this year and a planning page for camping. As we go to two rock festivals on this month and the next, I will need some extra space to write down what I need and what will be needed in general. For this painting in the middle, I used the colors N89, pale pink and ivory, as well as the 005 liner, of course.
If your butterfly doesn't look good enough or is missing something, try out to put in some black dots. I find that always let the wings look better. I wrote the titles again with pencil first and went over it with the pale pink brush pen and darkened the bottom part of the letter slightly. The first box on my reflection page will be for my achieved or not achieved goals. The box between that is for the question what I could do better for the next half. As for my camping page, I have space now for what we need as a group, what I will need personally and at the bottom I have some space for to-dos. Now we can move over to create the weekly planning pages. I use the same format for the days as for my March or April weeklies, but I turned them into Dutch doors this time. Herefore, I cut out the sides, leaving some space for tabs. On the left side I wrote June in a cursive font again and wrote a mini calendar under it. With grey I wrote the calendar week numbers at the side. Before I lined out a space for notes, I sketch a little painting for decoration in the bottom corner to see how much space I have left for my notes section.
With the ice blue pen, I lined the headers for the weekdays as well as for my shopping list on the last page. I have three sections for that, groceries, drugstore and online. On the last page, I decorate the upper corner with three butterflies flying around. I colored them in blue, pink and ivory. Under the butterflies, I lined out a space for main to-dos for this month. For the tabs I used a peachy colored washi tape and for the second one the ice blue brush pen. And that's it for the weeklies. I already sketched out the painting for my memories page but as always I will film that separately. Let's flip through the pages to see what we have created. Didn't that setup turn out beautifully? What is your theme this month? Let me know in the comments. I would love to chat with you guys. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful and happy day. Bye bye.